No. Just waiting. Well, here we are, four o'clock, and I am talking today about why growing your spiritual awareness is so important for your life and business, and why this mystical energy can seem so elusive. My glasses are dropping off. Um, so thanks for joining me. If you're coming on live and watching the replay, do tell me where you are. Hello, Monique. Lovely to see you. Great that you've joined me. And... If you don't know who I am, I'm Sarah Negus, um, modern day shaman and spiritual mentor. And I offer insight into your inner world, you know, um, discovering and mastering all that you can be. And I do that by really delving into your own energy and looking at the psychology of it. So let's have a think today about spiritual awareness, shall we? Um, what is it? big question it's a big word it, it can be, mean all sorts of th different things to different people and I've kind of chunked down my perception of, of what spiritual awareness is it's connection to yourself to your higher self that that intuitive guidance system it's an understanding that we are more than just this it's an understanding that we are connected to the whole of our globe the whole of our world and beyond that into the universe. I think it's even deeper than that. It's an understanding that we are absolutely creators in the making. Um, it's affected, our spiritual awareness grows when we listen to our intuitive guidance, which is our higher self. Um, when we, we maintain a vibration within our energy that is for our greatest good, for our potential. Now, uh, we ebb and flow with that. It goes up and down, up and down. After all, we're human. And we're looking all of the time to uh, experience emotion, energy in motion, emotion. And emotion comes in very many different frequencies, um, lots of which are distorted based on our own world map. And these distortions are, are ultimately... Um, the love vibration, the Christ energy, the uh, greater consciousness, that very high vibration of universal flow, just distorted into different things that we, we see and feel and hear. Now, when we're aligned, when I, when, I, when I say aligned, I mean when we're authentic, when we're in our integrity, when we understand we have self-responsibility um, and we display um, or we live with an element of personal courage around our lives, um, moving forwards even if we're afraid, finding compassion for ourselves and understanding that the energy that runs through us is absolutely divine, then our spiritual awareness can grow. Um, let me give you an analogy. Um, I love this movie and I've talked about it before, but King, the, the latest King Arthur movie... Um, hello, Chantel. Great to see you. Hello, Patrice. The latest King Arthur movie, um, not only was it, you know, had a really hot guy as the lead, but it was um, directed uh, by Guy Ritchie, who I really quite like. And the whole of the ethos of the movie was about mm. finding your potential, really stepping into your role of who you are supposed to be. Now, King Arthur, when we find the beginning of the, of the movie... He has grown up um, in a brothel. You know, he, he got um, hidden away because he was going to be murdered by his uncle. He, all he knew was his world around him. So he had his head down. He was focused on making money and protecting the people he loved. And they were the ones that he was loyal to, his, his little inner circle. Now, fate played its hand and, and he was the only one that could draw out Excalibur from the sword um, the sword out of the stone, um, and it thrust him into the limelight. He didn't want it. He turned his back on it. Um, and 
his life was at, at stake. Now, he kept, his, his friends kept telling him that he was the one, that he could be bigger, that he could be more. And he kept saying, no, I'm just after me, I'm just looking after me. And he came into contract, uh, contact with a mage, the magicians there, um, who took him to the Badlands. Now, I love this analogy, the Badlands. What a great name, huh? Now, those Badlands were actually the place where he overcame all of the things about himself that he didn't like, that he was afraid of. Um, the Badlands showed him all sorts of different realities, um, different things that were within him for him to actually embrace and, and get to grips with. In fact, he had to cast off his false self. So the self that he had um, built around him um, to survive, he had to cast that off so that he could really embrace his own potential. Now that for me is what growing your spiritual awareness is, is understanding all of the falseness, all of the excuses that we give ourselves in our human life, moving through them, not attaching to them, not allowing ourselves to be victim to them, and stepping into our own power. And ultimately, our own power is divine. We are divine channels of light. You know, and if we really can accept that within ourselves, understand it, get excited about it, things really do change. Now, why is spiritual awareness in our life, in our human life, so um, elusive? This, this mystical energy, why is it so elusive? And I've been thinking about that as well recently. Now, as I said earlier in this live stream, our role in humanity is to experience yeah, experience energy and motion, emotion. And emotion goes up and down and, and there, there's always polarities to it, two edges, two long sides. Now, if we can step into our, our uh, neutrality, our observer's inner eyes, if you like, that part of us that came when we were born and will leave when we die, that part of us that is our own knowing, if we can step into that um, and overcome our ego, overcome our shadow, like King Arthur did in the movie, go to the bad lands of ourselves, understand them, overcome them, cast them away and step into the divinity that we are, step into our potential. You know, we can really, really change things in our lives. Now, I once was told by a teacher of mine, the groaning is my, is my big bear, the dog, my doggy. He wants to go out and he can wait. He's groaning. So I, I, if you can hear him, <laughs> that's what's happening. So as I said, I was once told by a teacher of mine that to have an understanding that I was connected to the divine and I, had, I was a divine channel was actually ego and that I needed to, to be very careful about my own spiritual ego. Well, I want to actually stand here and blow that myth out of the water because if we can each, if you can each decide that you are your own personal divine power, you can overcome anything you want. When you have that sort of belief in your own energy, then all sorts of ultimate things can happen to you in your life. Now, we can get stuck in our living of it. Hello, Amy, lovely to see you. We can get stuck in our petty everyday chores. And this brings us very much away from that mystical energy of our divine power, of our spiritual awareness. So yes, we've got to do the washing. Yes, we've got to do the hoovering, walk the dog. We've got to pay our bills. We've got to do this. But spend some time every single day with your divine self. Sit with you in your inner world, in your own power, and have the beginner's mind around who you are. You know, our thoughts are really powerful things. They create our lives. So if you are thinking about everything that you have known and everything that you do know, nothing's going to change for you. No more doors are going to open. 
If you're worrying about the past, if you're living in the past, if you have fear all of the time and anxiety, I tell you what, that's what you will be attracting. So sit in your divine nature. Have the idea of a beginner's mind, that, that wonder of a child, and see what comes through to you. Your higher self will talk to you in a neutral voice. When you hear her, believe it. Believe in you. Find your own level of self-belief, whatever that means for you. And then go and do something about it. So... <laughs> thank you, morning. I love you too, and thank you for listening. Remember, spiritual awareness is about knowing you're connected, knowing you are part of something so much bigger, knowing you are a divine channel and that you have your own power and can choose the way your life grows. Expanding your awareness means leaning into that. It means overcoming your shadow, your, the badlands within you, moving past your excuses. It means being brave in your life and having personal courage about who you are, being authentic and standing in integrity. Most of all, it, me it means being full of self-belief. He's getting me impatient now. So I've got a course coming up, and if you want to find out about my mini course about self-belief, do get in touch. I'm going to put the link up above. Um, you can join. It begins on the 4th of December. Um, and it's all, it's going to be completely working um, to overcome your self-doubt, to get you connected to that divine power of yourself, and then to go away, believe in yourself, and take action. So, guys, come join me. I will be back tomorrow. I've got more to tell you. Now, what am I going to be talking about tomorrow? I've written it down so I don't forget. Um, yes. So tomorrow I'm going to be talking about how to advance spiritually and live a full life. Now, when, I, when I'm talking about spiritually, I mean in your divine power. I mean in all that you can be. I mean in your potential. Okay? So if you're interested in that for you, and it's something that you can feel edgy in you, you know, you feel like you're bored, you're a bit fed up with what you're doing, you want to move forwards. This is a signal that you're ready to do something bigger. So I'm going to be talking about that tomorrow. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me. Lovely to see you. Um, thanks for watching if you are here to the end. And um, if you've just hopped in, come from the beginning. Go watch the replay. There's lots of really good stuff in this. Talk to you soon. Bye.